Greetings from Arizona. This is Tony Kuiper. This brief video is going to take a quick look at the black and white conversion features built into the TK Actions V6 panel. There are many ways to create monochrome images from color files. Starting with luminosity masks might not be the most common method that comes to mind. But since luminosity masks are grayscale, pixel-based masks that always embed the actual image in the mask, it's hard to miss the connection between these masks and potential black and white images. The easiest way to convert a color image to black and white using the panel is the Mask to Pixels option in the Layer button. This takes the current rapid mask and makes a pixel layer of it. Here's how it works. First, create a rapid mask using the buttons on the panel, usually starting with a Lights mask. The Composite button creates a Lights 1 mask. But this looks a bit washed out. So try Lights 2. That's better, but maybe a bit too dark. So back to Lights 1. To get an intermediate effect, use a Gamma adjustment of a Levels modification. OK, that's looking better. Now, click the Layer Output button and choose Mask to Pixels from the menu. The mask is now duplicated as a pixel layer on the Layers panel. From here it can be adjusted and modified to create the final image. Just as a reminder, in RGB color mode, the new pixel layer is an exact 16-bit duplicate of the Rapid Mask. No 8-bit selection was needed to create it. It's a direct 16-bit to 16-bit conversion from mask to pixels. To create a more abstract black and white image, start with zone masks. Zone masks select narrower parts of the tonal spectrum, but the image is still embedded in the mask. Here I'll start with a zone 7 mask. That's a bit too dark overall, but this is common with zone masks. I'd also like to see a few more lighter gray tones in the flower. So next I'm going to add an adjacent zone mask, a zone 7.5 mask, using the mask calculator. The flower looks better, but the image is still a bit dark. Again, a levels gamma adjustment can easily fix that. The final modification is an auto levels adjustment using the auto button. This is what I really like about starting with the zone masks. Using them gives a really nice silky satin look to the lightest tones revealed by the mask. Now again, just use the mask to pixels option to output the rapid mask as a pixel layer. Like I said, it's a bit more abstract than starting with a lights mask but using zone masks can create black and white images with that silvery sheen that's hard to create any other way. The last method for using the rapid mask module to convert color images to black and white is the color create option. This option uses a black and white adjustment layer to make masks where colors in the image can easily be made lighter or darker in the mask. This on-screen image could be turned into a mask simply by clicking the Rapid Mask button. However, this setup of layers can also easily be used to purposely make a black and white image from a color one, and that's what I'll do here. For this image, I pulled the blues and cyans a little darker. And the reds a little darker too and added a bit of contrast. Now, instead of outputting a rapid mask, I'll click the B and W button for black and white. This preserves the layers used to create the black and white version. Just the group name is changed. Now I can continue to develop this image in monochrome and even return to the layers that I used to create the conversion to tweak them if I want. 
So in conclusion, if you're looking to explore possibilities with monochrome images, the TK Actions V6 panel has some interesting options to help. I hope you'll give them a try.